Hi there, I'm Egg and Toast. I do things on YouTube, and welcome to Tarkov for Timmies. In this video, we will learn how to install Escape from Tarkov, navigate its menus, equip our PMC with gear, and trade with the traders. Thrilling stuff, I know. Alright, to install this wonderful game that is Escape from Tarkov, you'll need to go to www.escapefromtarkov.com. Click on the big pre-order Escape from Tarkov box in the center of the screen to be taken to the additions. There are four additions you can purchase. For the sake of your wallet, I highly recommend starting with the standard edition or the $50 option. Once you get a feel for the game and you start to enjoy it, you can upgrade your game to whatever edition you'd like to. When upgrading your game, I recommend EOD or Edge of Darkness edition. It'll give you max dash capacity, a 3x3 asshole, better trader reputation, and free access to subsequent DLCs for EFT. Once you decide which edition you'd like, click pre-order. It'll ask you to create an account. Give up your social security number, don't actually do that. You're gonna click the box that says that you're a human. Enter your account details and such. Make sure you use a password that you will not forget. BSG or Battlestate Games only gives you three attempts to log in before they will lock your account for an amount of time. If you're anything like me, you're gonna end up resetting your password at least once every two weeks, so write it down somewhere or use a password that you, you absolutely won't forget. Once you have the game purchased, head over to your profile. If you are not on this screen, click on Profile in the top right. Once you're here, click the Install button and wait for the launcher to be installed. Open the launcher when it's installed and select your preferred language. Select your preferred install location, if you don't have one just press the next button twice. To have easy access to the BSG launcher, check the box in order to create a desktop shortcut. Click next, and then click install. Wait for the green bar to fill up multiple times, and then click finish. The launcher should automatically open. If it doesn't, check your desktop for the Battlestate Games launcher. Select your preferred language again, and click continue. Log in using the account you created on the Escape from Tarkov website. Now you're in the BSG launcher. Click install at the bottom right and install your game to your preferred location. My button does not say install, it says play. I already have the game installed, I'm not going to uninstall it because it's going to take a lot of time, and Unity is also charging developers after they reach a certain threshold, blah 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 blah. Whatever. Once your game is installed, click the play button and it should launch. Congratulations, you are now playing Escape from Tarkov. You're going to have to make some tough decisions. Choose your language, again. Enter your desired display name or username. You can change this once every 14 days, so don't sweat over it. Mm. Fuck! You'll need to choose a faction. During the creation of this video, USEC has a slight advantage because of the USEC camp that exists on the map Lighthouse. Why is this important? Because if you are a USEC, the USEC rogues that are inside of the camp will not kill you on sight unless you shoot at them or step on their property. Bears do not have an alternative as of right now, but it will be added later, TM. For the sake of this account, I will be picking USEC. Once you have selected the faction of your choice, you're going to have to select a face as well as a voice. Bastard. The main menu is straightforward. Escape from Tarkov is how you load into the game. We're going to ignore that button for now. Please trust me on this. Don't load into a game without any game knowledge, you'll have a bad time. Clicking on character will bring you to the character screen which has your stash on the right hand side and your PMC or player character on the left and middle sections. Escape from Tarkov presents itself as a hardcore PvPvE shooter, but we all know it's actually just a glorified game of Tetris. In your stash, you'll have your starting items. A little bit of money, some guns, some food, medical supplies so that you don't die, the whole nine yards. To equip something you'd like to use, for example a gun, click and drag it from the stash on the right to the sling or back on the left hand side. To take something from your PMC and put it in your stash, you'll just do the opposite. As you may have noticed, your PMC has different spaces for different things. Earpieces help you hear things, like distant gunshots, players hitting bushes, or footsteps. Headwear is for cool looking hats or helmets if you swing that way. Face covers are for masks to cover your bright white face. Armbands are used for identification. Use them with your friends to hopefully not get shot in the face. No guarantee that it'll work though. 
Body armor is where you put, well, body armor. There is a little caveat with this slot though. Some tactical rigs over in that location right there will prevent you from putting body armor on in the body armor slot. It sounds confusing, but it's because the rig is armored. We'll cover it later. Eyewear is for glasses. Yes, they do help with flashbangs, and some can even help protect your eyes through the ricochet chance. We'll cover that once we get there. As I mentioned earlier, the sling and back are used for guns, mainly the guns like rifles, shotguns, and submachine guns. The holster is where you will put your big iron or the Glock o'clock. The sheath is where you will put your melee weapons. There's a caveat to this box as well as the armband box. And the caveat is, neither box can be looted by other players. You don't have to worry about losing your melee or your armband. Moving to the center of the screen, the tactical rig is for holding magazines and loot. Remember, some tack rigs will interfere with the body armor slot. Again, this is because the rig itself is armored. Pockets are where most people like to put their meds. The four 1x1 one one slots can hold things like grenades, loose ammo, and loot. The backpack is the real MVP slot here. This is where you'll put all of the sweet, delicious loot that you find or tear off of people in the streets of Tarkov. Moving on down, your pouch is your asshole. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Items in your asshole cannot be looted by other players, but certain items like guns, magazines, special scopes, and some mounts cannot be put into your asshole. No, you cannot put your ammo box into your ass either. Good try though. With all that, you should now be able to navigate the character screen. Equip what you'd like, but remember, anything that you bring in that's not shoved up your ass can be lost while playing the game. We're going to click on the traders button on the bottom of the screen. You can also hit the back button in the top right and then click trading on the main menu. Welcome to the trading or traders screen. Here you meet all your new friends like Prapper, Therapist, Fence, Skier, Peacekeeper, Mechanic, Ragman, and Jaeger. You may notice that Jaeger is grayed out. That is because you have to complete a quest in order to unlock this psycho. Each trader will sell certain items and buy others. Generally, You'll sell loose loot to therapist, weapons and mods to mechanic, clothes and armor to ragman, and anything else to prapper. If nobody wants the item, sell it to fence. When it comes to buying things, prapper will sell your Kalashnikovs or Russian made weapons, therapist will sell food, cases, and medical supplies, fence sells items that are sold to him from other players and will sell them back to you for a jacked up price. It's a jacked up flea market, don't worry too much about it. Skier sells a mix of weapons, weapon parts, and ammo. Peacekeeper is where you go when you want to buy freedom and democracy. Mechanic has weapon mods and barter trades for kitted weapons. Ragman sells armors, rigs, hats, helmets, and most importantly drip. Jaeger sells weapons, weapon mods, ammo, and cases. To buy something, make sure that you click buy in the center of the screen, click the item that you want on the left hand side, press the blue box next to the buy button in the center of the screen to automatically fill the requirements, then press deal and it should appear in your stash. To sell, you're going to press the sell button in the center of the screen, click and drag the item on the right hand side over to the center table and press deal. Each trader will have trader reputation or rep. To unlock more items from the traders, you need to level them up. In the top right, you'll see the requirements for leveling up. These requirements are your PMC's level, the trader rep that you have, and the money exchanged between you and them. This money exchanged can be through buying or selling. To get more trader rep, you'll have to complete tasks for them. These are located by clicking on the trader and then clicking on tasks in the top left. There are tasks and task trees, but we're not going to worry about those. For now, we'll just accept the tasks that are currently available to us. There are no task limits or limiters. You can accept as many as you'd like. Tasks have rewards. These rewards are important because they unlock gear or ammo that you can purchase from the traders. And they also provide a lump sum of experience that you need to level up your PMC. Questing is expensive and difficult. Make sure you look up a guide on how to do them before you go in, or 
you can always force a friend to do them with you. With that, you've learned how to install Escape from Tarkov, navigate its menus, equip your PMC with gear, and trade with the traders. In the next video, we will learn how to load into a practice raid where the stakes aren't high. You'll learn how to load into customs, basic movement, navigating the map, points of interest, and how to extract. I have been Eggentoast. Hopefully you learned something in this video, and I will see you in the next one.